wish there was a pink rapture in here. Oh, check that out. This is this thing right here. I don't see the price on it. Let me see this one. Here. Do that. I'll do ten dollars on it. Ten dollars? Yeah. I might do that. Does it work? You guys, check out my little baby blue vintage pink hooper bag here, man. This thing is really cool. I got this in in the habitat for me. What's going on everybody? This is Casey the Carolina Thrifter here. Guys, in today's video we're going thrifting. So I normally do a lot of garage sale videos during this time of year, but sometimes I'll throw a little thrift video in here. So that's what we're doing today. Hopefully we can find something good out here in the wild. But um, I'm at my first thrift store. I'm going here. Hopefully find something good. If not, you know, we're going to the next one. So I'll see you in there. See you. Anything over there? Nope. Sometimes it's over there. It's about your home miles with. What are the Yonics in here? The Yonics driver. What's that one? What's one of the Yonics. Let's well, check this out. It's a King Cobra driver. 99 cents. A little ding. Sure size. Dang, that ain't bad. Mm, check this out. We got a couple Xboxes in here. Xbox 360, 40 bucks. It's not bad. I'm not gonna buy that, but that ain't worth it. Like 80 bucks, 70. Passing. Here's some LeBron James. Check. $75. $75. Crazy. Kyrie's are 65. Yeah, bro. Thirty bucks. Paying up for a little bit. What are these? Some gringos. That place always got some good shoes. What we got here? Nine zeros. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah. Look like pretty cool. Echoes. That's the real price. Got some wear. 25 bucks. Right, these look pretty nice. These look nice. Look them up. Some nose. Some Nike flexes. Too bad. Marrows. Small marrows. Yeah. Nope. All right, guys. The first thrift store was a bust. There was another reseller in there. If I put it in there, he had a buggy full of shoes. But all respect to him, man. I'm not gonna get in the shoe game. He's a shoe reseller. But guys, we got a problem right here. The problem is gas is 409 a gallon. And I, was, I mean, hopefully I can find because I might have put like at least six gallons in here. But hopefully I can, you know, make enough money today to cover it. But y'all let me know in the comments below how much your gas is for your area. What's that? Anderson. Teeth. Might be cool. Oh, Wilson Bell. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I guess Goodwill, you still can find some things in here. I was starting to doubt it. This is my first find of the day here. And I'll go over with you. I might even show the other footage in the video because it sucks. 
the first thing we got we got some brooks pure connects now look these up looks like soul comps are about 30 dollars a minute anywhere from 25 30 dollars on somewhere at 40 45 but i think with the condition i think i should get at least 30 25 30 bucks and then we got a pair of converse chuck taylor red white and blue like you know the the american flag and i've actually sold this pair before for 30 bucks plus shipping and she sold these to me for the kids price it's not too bad so these right here there's a pair of new balance 993s and they're made in the usa the issue i got as you can see down here in the bottom is there is a lot of wear down there so these normally comp about 90 anywhere from like 60 to 80 dollars now went up to 100 but with that i think i can get like 30 so not too bad of finding there anytime you see that in there though made in usa 993s that gray suede color it just attracts me last but not least we got a pair of sperry's here now normally sperry's i don't buy them too often now because they are hard they take for, for a little long to, they take too long to move but these right here decent boat shoes really good shape and i think i can move these i actually found a sole comp for like 30 40 bucks and they're recently sold so i think these are going to do very well and i just typed in the number and the tag there the 0771246 and this popped up so that's why i got some confidence in these and you asked me what i paid i paid 6.99 a piece for all the adult shoes and these right here she let go for 2.99 a piece so i think i spent 20 i think i spent 27 23.96 is my total all right guys do not pick on me but gas is so high this is what i've had to go to i just brought my own lunch now yeah this is my wife's lunch cooler but you know i figured i'd use it because i don't feel like buying one and guys what's inside my lunch box here we go we got a peanut butter and jelly i got two of them wrapped in there got a diet coke because that's my favorite drink and we got got a banana got a banana for my potassium and health a couple fruit and last but not least we got a blueberry nutrient bar i think that was it so guys, I mean, if I went to Chick-fil-A or somewhere, it'd be like 10, 12 bucks a combo right now for like a sandwich, fry, and a drink. So this right here was, I mean, the cost of goods is probably like two bucks. So I thought I'd show you all that. That's what I'll meet for lunch before I go to my next stop. So there you go. What do you do? What do you do? Yeah. What do you got over here? I wish there was a pink rapture in here. Oh, check that out. Check that out there. No mass center shot putter. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, both out. Check this out. I got a VCR in here. VCA4, huh? I don't know if it works. Alright, guys, I went too bad in there. I mean, we got two golf clubs. Now, one is a no name brand, it's called a Nomad Center Shaft. I mean, Nomad is not really a name to pick up, but it is a center shaft putter. It's like a belly putter. So, those things always sell pretty good for me. So, no matter the name, I still will pick that up. We got an old school AccuSnip bullseye putter and it's got the satin shaft on it so anytime i see that i do pick it up it's got the measurement on there really good grip i might can get 30 out of this one i saw a solar comp go for 30 so pay four bucks a piece for those so not too bad all right guys let's talk about the state so i saw this on the side of the road i'm gonna check it out i'm gonna tell you i'm not a fan of these things at all i am not one they want you to wait in the line Big old garage, man. It's still very good, though. Mm. What's going on in here? Shoo.
sure I got this a whole lot of time. 20 bucks, not terrible. That's kind of cool, 10 bucks. Two bucks. Mm -hmm. Let me find Becky real quick. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Oh, that's cool. much for that. All right, guys, so not too bad in there. So this is what I picked up. Some Fujifilm for $2.18. These things sell for like 30 bucks. Free shipping, so I'll make some gas money, but there's probably a lot of stuff in there where it's good money. I just, just not out. This is normally what, not what I like doing. So a steak sale like this, normally not my thing. All right, guys, we're gonna go into the habitat now. Sometimes I'll find some good stuff in here. I got the golf clubs in the barrel. Two dollars a golf club. Am I getting it? Might be a good one in here. Huh. The bomber. John Daly. No, no good one. No good ones. Not too bad. I don't see a price on it. How much is it? Hey, how you doing? How much is this thing right here? I don't see the price on it. Let me see the thing. What do that? I do ten dollars on it. Ten dollars? Yeah. Might do that. Does it work? Should they have it wrapped up? The cord's wrapped up. Okay. I'm gonna set to the side. I might get it. I might get it. Oops, excuse me. We got a little pain bag right here. I'm not feeling these things. Yeah. What's we got? A McGregor. Great Scott. Saying that is cool. It's cool right there. Might get that. I think it was cool in here. Yeah, I think that was cool in here. Yep. All right, guys, check out my little baby blue vintage ping hooper bag here, man. This thing is really cool. I got this in, in the habitat for five bucks. But I tell you, I love finding these things. They sell good, and they're cool, they're vintage. This is in good shape. I mean, a little bit of dirt and stains down there, but I can clean that off. Got, we got the ping man over here. Yeah, look at the little ping man right there on this corner. Oh, I love playing that guy. And then we got a McGregor Great Scott sand iron. Almost sounds like the thing from Back in the Future saying from the dock. The dock. Great Scott. Anyway, really cool. This thing actually sold for like $25 one time. Paying a buck, not too bad. And that's not too bad in there.
Well, guys, y'all have reached the end of today's video. I do appreciate everybody watching today. If you did like the video, please don't forget to drop a like button or hit the like button for me. That does help my channel out a lot. And if you want to subscribe to the channel for more content, I try to bring in at least one video a week. Guys, before I go, I do got a package here. One of my subscribers did reach out and said he's, he's going to give me something. So I got it here. I'm going to share with y'all. I'm going to open it up. I have no idea what it is yet. So come on, set the camera down here and let's get it open. All right, guys. Hopefully y'all can see this. But yeah. We got this little 1098 box or a 1095 box that's wrapped in. So let's see what we got going on in here. <laughs> Can't get it open. Here we go. There we go. Oop, oop. Oh, that's cool. I like how he did that. Man, this guy knows me too well. So big shout out to my buddy Eric here. Got me the South Carolina Gamecocks little bottle top here. I do like it, man, so I'm hanging up right on my wall because he does know I am a big time Carolina Gamecock fan. The school's right on the road. I've been pulling for this team since, I don't know, the 90s. And this guy's a Clemson fan, so that's kind of crazy that he would send me something Carolina related. But that's a big rivalry, a rivalry in our state, so I hope Carolina does good this year. Guys, appreciate y'all watching again, and we'll see you in the next one. See you.